This video is titled, Jeffers, Satan Behind Catholic Church. This is the Babylonian mystery religion that spread like a cult throughout the entire world. The high priest of that fake religion, that false religion, the high priests of that religion would wear crowns uh, that resembled the heads of fish. And uh, that was in order to worship the fish god, Dagon. And on those crowns were written the words, uh, Keeper of the Bridge, the, pri the bridge between Satan and man. That phrase, Keeper of the Bridge, the Roman equivalent of it is Pontifex Maximus. This guy has no fucking idea what he's talking about. Besides, if you examine your fucking holy text, you're going to notice a bunch of refer references to Babylonian mythology, you retard. It was a title that was first carried by uh, the Caesars and then the emperors and finally by the Bishop of Rome, Pontifex Maximus, the keeper of the bridge. You can see where we're going with this. It is that Babylonian mystery religion that infected the early church. One of the churches it infected was the church at Pergamos, which is one of the recipients of the book of the Revelation. And the early church was corrupted by this Babylonian mystery religion. And today the Roman Catholic Church is the result of that corruption. Much of what you see in the Catholic Church today doesn't come from God's Word. It comes from this cult-like pagan religion. Uh, you say, well, now, Pastor, how can you say such a thing? That is such an indictment of the Catholic Church. After all, the Catholic Church talks about God and the Bible and Jesus and the blood of Christ and salvation. Isn't that the genius of Satan? You know, if you want to counterfeit a dollar bill, you don't do it with purple paper and red ink. You're not going to fool anybody with that. But if you want to counterfeit money, what you do is make it look as closely related to the real thing as possible. Can't the Catholic Church say exactly the same thing about you? And that's what Satan does with counterfeit religion. He uses, he steals, he appropriates all of the symbols of true biblical Christianity and he changes it just enough in order to cause people to miss eternal life. Okay guys, I'll, I'll be right back in a second. Okay, this video should be interesting. It's titled Brian Fisher uh, on Evolution now, no and matter Secular what you Government. Think, now, no matter what you think of the mythical separation between church and state, it is not possible for there ever in the United States of America to be a separation between God and government. Because... Because God is the source of every single right which government has a sacred duty to protect. Now I submit to you that not a single one of our unalienable rights will be safe in the hands of a president who believes that we evolved from slime and we are the descendants of apes and baboons. What the fuck? Who the fuck said that we're descendants of baboons, you fucking moron? Ah. Now, if you doubt me, look at the nation-states in the 20th century which rejected the creator god of the Judeo-Christian tradition. Nazi Germany, Stalinist Russia, Communist China. Bullshit. Um, Nazi Germany did not reject any Judeo-Christian god. The one thing all of these secular states share in common is dead bodies.
Okay, this is the last one I'm going to show. It's titled Beck Repeats uh, Violent Left Fears. Hate is on a scale and is growing on a planetary scale of unprecedented size. The violent left is coming to our streets, all of our streets, to smash, to tear down, to kill, to bankrupt. Don't you just love Glenn Beck and his uh, um, poetic, utter bullcrap? To destroy. It will be global in its nature and global in its scope. I said these things two years ago, and I was mocked and ridiculed. You were mocked and ridiculed because you are a fucking inbred retard. I explained this last January in great detail and said exactly how it was going to come down, and I was mocked and ridiculed. I no longer care. I no longer care if you mock or ridicule. I no longer care if you listen or don't listen. I will continue to tell you, trouble is coming, but there is a way out. As millions are taught or will teach others to hate and destroy, if we wish to survive, we must turn our own world upside down. Yeah, that sounds like something that Glenn Beck can say, but uh, how exactly can we fucking turn the world upside down? Uh, there is no fucking upside down in three-dimensional space. Uh. Okay. Dar, I made it through these videos without killing myself. Or without sending you um, anthrax in the mail. Um, I hope you're happy with uh, destroying about 50% of my brain cells. And keep up the good work.